Hi, my name is Kathy Turner Motley, and I'm talking to you today from Fernandina Beach, Florida, on beautiful Amelia Island. I am 69 years old, and I am a survivor of pancreatic cancer. I have been cancer-free for almost six years. It'll be six years in January, and that puts me in what I call the 10% club. And I'm here though to talk to you about the 90% who did not make it. And it is that 90% that we need to pay a special attention to, to find ways to not only treat pancreatic cancer, but also to prevent it. Um, I was had my first early symptom in mid 2013. I uh, had, during just a regular exam, what I would call a uh, uh, a lab test that was just too high on blood sugar, and um, they said that I might be pre-diabetic. You know, I was in my early 60s, and that, to me, kind of didn't make sense. However, I, at that time, was particularly overweight. I was working hard. I was a senior VP for a healthcare company and I was traveling all over the United States. And I like to say that the most uh, exercise I was having was running from one connection to another at airports all over the place. So I um, started trying to lose weight in which I was successful, but by mid 2014, uh, I was losing my appetite. I was really losing weight without even trying. And I started having some digestive problems that uh, seemed a little odd. Didn't have any pain, uh, but just was a little bit different. And then in August of 2014, I managed to find myself in a situation at the Newark airport while I was on a business trip where I actually passed out for a few minutes. It seemed like that after that, I was just never quite right. And it was not until December that I was actually diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and that was December of 2014. So a lot of people will say to me, wow, you must be really lucky, you found it early. And yet I had that first symptom um, a year and a half before I was actually diagnosed. Think about what it could be if we could find an early detection system to allow us to find pancreatic cancer early and that everybody could be living the life that I live six years after being diagnosed. Um, I consider myself very, very lucky um, and so I'm here to ask your support to uh, contribute to research, to contribute to early detection, and to find ways so that that 90% will be here having a good life or could be here having a good life like I am. Thank you for your support, and I appreciate anything you can do. Thank you.